Everything looked good there. Oh wait, go, 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 go. We're here at uh, Sand Mountain at Little, Little Sahara. And uh, we've got a side-by-side -side that's broke down, took a couple of pretty hard tumbles, but it's over there on the other side of Sand Mountain. So we're gonna see if we can make our way around, take a little bit easier route, go find it. We were hoping to get here soon enough to find it in the daylight, but looks like uh, we'll have to be using moonlight to try and find it. We'll film what we can remember to. You can see it's a razor. Yeah. It looks like he went down here. Yeah. There's no stopping. Uh, yeah, it looks like he got on the side hill and rolled down pretty from pretty the side. Good. Yeah. Dad? What? I know. But that's not the one we're here for. Oh my. You should see the rear. Golly, yeah, there's nothing left of it, but not all of this is from the accident. People have been stripping it. Oh. No, it's not so much that it is all busted up as people have stripped it too. Too Like they took oil. Sawzalls and cut the frame and took the motor and tranny out of the back. Stripped all of the interior, except for some of the seats that are yeah, maybe savable, but yeah, they they really stripped it. It's not just wrecked. It's 
They, they took everything off of it. Dang. There's no suspension at all, front or rear. This would have to go onto a trailer. Wow. That's crazy. Man. Well, let's keep looking for the one we came for. Man, this is steep. Walking in the sand is tough. Definitely getting my workout, that's for sure. to me well it's that it doesn't run anymore oh figures so like the starter burned up on it or something they rolled it and then they tried to start it for a long time and it's like they burned up the starter or something yeah all the suspension looks good yeah this one's better off than the other one yep okay Whew. let's make our way back up to the trucks find a route down all right i just hiked myself back up that sand mountain Woo. to get the land cruiser all right man that was a workout I couldn't even see him. There is nothing underneath metal to hook on side by side. No. It's a one nice skid plate, but it really limits your options. Yeah. Too. Chains look like they should be pretty secure, or should we take a couple yeah. of ratchet straps and go around the control arm and the, well, the control arm bar and just suck it down. And down? But the control arm is wrapped around I mean, the bar. The the chain. Yeah, this plastic has got a little pressure on it. It was already damaged. As, as you lift it, it might release some of that. This is all loose, and I think this is separate. If this comes off, then we can probably uh, pop I don't it. know how these well, come off. This is all off. we need off is this middle one. It's just this piece right here. Oh, that's metal. <laughs> Problem solved. So. No, it's metal right here. This one. I had to bolt it down, but loose is going to be fine, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Keep going. Okay, I'd, I'd try that about that height right there. The tires might touch some as it comes down, but they'll roll. Is the side-by-side -side in park or neutral? 
It should be in neutral. Hey, is that fried tire turning with the back tire? Is it still in four wheel drive? The left front is not turning. Oh wait, it just started turning. Yeah, I think it's still in four wheel drive. I can't see. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Yes, it's still turning. Thing won't come out of four-wheel drive, huh? I see the front tire spinning when nothing's touching them. Everything looked good there. Oh wait, go, 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 don't let off, keep going. Go, 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 you're good, you're good, go. Wow, that was really close. Yeah, that was just pretty sketchy. Time to do some sketchy stuff. Do da do da. I hope we get away with it. Oh do do da day. <laughs> no kidding. That was tight. You don't think you can get up that? It's following straight behind you, so if you want to keep going down, you're all right. Well, I just need a place to get some run. I was trying to go back up the hill a little bit, but it just wouldn't go back up to where you are. But I, I mean, I hit that spot and just sank. Well, 
it's not too far to the right from where we came out of that little ravine. Now you'd have to back up a long ways though. You're about 10, 15 feet from the bottom. So we decided to back down into this ravine here and see if we could get a run at it and that didn't work so we hooked the Land Cruiser onto it and tried to yank it and that didn't work so now we are going to try and hook to this tree and winch it and we'll, we'll hope that that works. Okay, hold it. I'll put some pressure with the Land Cruiser also. It just looks like it drops off. Man, if we had a bright flashlight.
<laughs> winch? What did you just call me? <laughs> My lovely brother, you winch. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh. Okay, can I stop recording? <laughs> Okay, that's one more spool left. <sighs> Woo! I feel like I ate lead pancakes this morning or something. <laughs> 15 feet. Yeah! Do you have more soft shackles? Yeah. I have two more in my truck and another big strap if I need it. Okay, I've got these two six foot tree savers. Uh, plus we've got, do we need one or two soft shackles to go with them? We'll need two. Uh, one, sorry. Um, let's see how close that gets us. I have I have a lifting strap like this, that's this exact thing, but it's uh, like 20 or 30 feet. So maybe we should just grab that. Soft tackle? Oh, you. Good. Just turn to your right. There you go. If I think about the entire pressure, that's the first three. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Frog and let yours cool down.
All right, so right now he's sinking his tires down so that he doesn't roll back as easily when we start winching the blue diesel up. He's pulling, I should just pull too. Is he rehooking the rope? Yeah. Going to a further tree? You no, know, he's taking the ropes out. Anything else to add about the recovery so far? Deep sandy hill. This has been fun. It's, a, it's an interesting one. So with all of this and those ridiculous hills and almost rolling it, that side by side has been super stable on the sling. It hasn't moved, hasn't shifted, tied down very well. There's no damage to it. I'm really happy with the way this, this boom and sling setup is, has turned out so far. So we'll see how it goes in the future. As of right now, I'm very happy with it. We got on a little tipsy side. I don't know if anybody got video of it, so hopefully it's in the video. But we were starting to suck down a hill and I had to just throttle into it and pull out of it and took a couple good bounces and uh, this boom and sling handled it flawlessly. Definitely happy about that not super happy that this five hour recovery has turned into a 10 hour recovery but <laughs> stuff happens he also didn't say it was at the very bottom of the deepest bowl at sand mountain so try to lock it in when it close to the end of the table yeah Correct. So they're gonna go ahead and start winching the blue diesel and pull the land cruiser up at the same time. So far they're both moving nice, slow, steady. See that hill in the daylight. Look out. Look behind me. That's not me. I'm turning around. I don't know, I'm talking to T. Come back a little farther, a little more, a little more. 
Two more feet. Yeah. Yeah, if he starts moving, you're gonna be Whoa. sorry. Gosh. Is it hooked up? Yep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Just got attacked by bugs. Living the dream. Where's my winch remote? Right here. Open. I thought I put it up here, but I wasn't sure. I was hoping I hadn't left it on the door. My wrist is getting tired. <laughs> Can you guys back up away in case this winch leg snaps? You don't get killed. Are you okay, Grandpa? Are you sure you're okay? How do you feel, Grandpa? Like a target. How's your knee? Trying to get shot to such a little target. Are you sure you're okay? You can just sit in the land cruiser. I'll take over the jobs you've been doing.